Saskatoon Street, named after Canada's first prime minister, is a step closer to getting a new name this fall. After years of review, the proposed name has been released, but as Keenan Sorokon tells us, it's not going over well with everyone. Saskatoon City Council is set to throw Canada's first prime minister down the memory hole. I've got a plan to put pressure on the municipal government to change their collective minds, but I need your help to execute it. Mio Wakotoin Road, which means good relationship in Cree, though it was not a change longtime resident Bob Roberts was excited for. No, it's been there for over how many years? Why now? Saskatchewan is a very conservative place. I think that should surprise nobody. The whole place is painted blue with not a single member of parliament from a party other than conservative. But like everywhere in this country, the municipal governments in the cities, well, they're infected with wokeism. There are a lot of names that I say got a free ride in, in Canadian history that aren't getting a free ride anymore. And yeah, you're going to see some of those change. Now we need to hold Saskatoon's local government to account for not conserving Canada's history. The local government is considering cancelling our first prime minister, Sir John A. Macdonald. To get involved, go to savesirjohn.com. There you can learn more, you can sign the petition, and you can send the local politicians a handy pre-written email. I've taken care of all the heavy lifting here. And I really think we can make a difference, a real difference, because Saskatchewan is the place in the entire country where rebel news is the strongest. People know about us there, they support us there, and they want to hear the other side of the story unmolested by the state. People in Saskatchewan, according to our Leger polling, are very skeptical of the official narrative being sold to them in the mainstream media on all things. But for a deeply conservative place, as the data demonstrates, I'm not sure exactly what the local politicians are conserving at all. Here's what I mean in a little more detail. The woke city council in Saskatoon is very seriously considering throwing Canada's history in the trash can of Orwellian left-wing rewrites the way progressive cities like Toronto, Montreal, and Victoria have already done. Look at this. City councillors in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan are considering removing the name of Canada's first prime minister, Sir John A. Macdonald, from a local road. Councillor David Curtin proposed the name change two years ago to support the Truth and Reconciliation Committee. In pursuit of rectifying the wrongs of the residential school system, the City Council is formally considering a street name change to a Cree word for a good relationship. Now, this is already in progress. On August 1st, Saskatoon's Civic Naming Committee will receive a presentation on this name to supplement the initial proposal. A decision is expected on September 27th. So what that means is if we're going to make a difference here, we have to act fast and now. The problem for these people is that the first residential schools in this country created as a government assimilation program for Indigenous people, well, they were formed under John A. Macdonald. However, a policy think tank believes that blurring the lines between reconciling past injustices and playing a perpetual victimhood card doesn't really address Indigenous grievances. To build a country is like growing a tree. You prune off the rotten branches where they exist. You don't cancel and take down the entire tree. Same with Canada and our history, said Dr. Mark Milkey, founder and president of the Aristotle Foundation for Public Policy. Every human being is imperfect in history and now, including British colonialists then and all Canadians, including Indigenous Canadians. The reasonable standard to judge past figures is, did they contribute to expanding freedom and flourishing in their era or not? Milky told Rebel News that MacDonald, in particular, established the Northwest Mounted Police to protect Indigenous peoples from later settlers. Now, instead of doing the grown-up thing of acknowledging that even the most accomplished and progressive people of the past could never pass the muster of the left-wing social justice lens of today, Saskatoon City Council could very likely pretend that John A. Macdonald never existed at all. How can we learn from history if we pretend that it never even happened in the first place? Why don't we just dig up all the dead and berate them for not being woke enough? By the way, if we want to hold someone to account for the troubles of the residential school system, former Liberal Prime Minister Jean Chrétien is still alive and kicking. And he was the Indian Affairs Minister who signed off on the very last of the residential schools here in Canada. 
go beat down his door and cancel him. And Chrétien did all of that under his boss, then Prime Minister Pierre Elliott Trudeau. And Pierre Elliott Trudeau's name remains on the airport in Montreal, completely uncancelled, because his politics were right, even if his policies weren't. Canada's history is immutable. It is what it is, and it should be conserved for all to see and know. And conservatives have to be the ones to do it. Can you help? I've got a petition at savesirjohn.com. Sign it to take a stand against cancel culture and in favor of preserving Canada's history, warts and all. And I will hand deliver that petition to Saskatoon City Council because our shared history is real and we can't pretend like it's not real. And at that special website, I've got a preloaded, pre-written email. You can send it in just one click to let Saskatoon City Council know that Canada's history is worth protecting. Go to savesirjohn.com and have your voice heard. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. If you want to send a message to Saskatoon City Council that Canada's history is worth protecting and Canada's first prime minister is an accomplished historical figure, however a man of his time, please go to savesirjohn.com. You can sign the petition and send an email directly to City Council. I've done all the tough work. Go to savesirjohn.com.